Johnson, we begin with that burst of violence outside a Queens school. Two kids, a 16-year-old and a 17-year-old, stabbed outside John Adams High School in Ozone Park. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge live at the scene now with the details. Natalie. Maurice Christine, very tense moments here this morning. Authorities say at least six people were involved in some type of altercation across the street from the school. Two teens were stabbed, and it is confirmed that they were students. There may have been a third person who was also hurt in this fight, and police are still looking for a suspect. Surveillance video from down the street shows a group of teens in a brawl. Students were on edge leaving John Adams High School this afternoon after two teens were stabbed around 10.30 this morning on Rockaway Boulevard. It was kind of shocking. I'm like, oh, what happened when we get out? What's, what's, like, now there's danger around the school. Authorities say two groups were involved in some type of altercation. Then the two young men who were hurt ran into the school and told staff they were stabbed by an unknown person. A 16-year-old was stabbed in the leg and back. A 17-year-old suffered multiple stab wounds to the stomach and arm and is now in critical condition. Both were taken to Jamaica Hospital. The school was placed in a brief lockdown. They just held us in our class until everything was situated. We had to cover the, the windows, like the door windows, lock them, and we had to stay quiet, turn off the lights. I was pretty scared because, you know, it's a lot of things that can happen. I mean, I hope that the guy is okay. I, I hope that they catch the people that... Heard him. One of the parents of a freshman says any violence nearby is alarming, especially when it results in a lockdown. It's disheartening for me as a parent that my daughter has to even experience that. I've spoken to the school before and they said, you know, we're doing everything we can. We have metal detectors. A school officials tell us they're working closely with police to try and identify that suspect. It's still not known if that person attended the high school. We're live in Ozone Park, Queens. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you.